the loss for a single ski theft case runs between three and four hundred dollars. Yet the people who run ski lodges say that almost all those thefts can be blamed on carelessness by the skier. And they say simple things can prevent most incidents. For example, uh, taking one ski and setting it in one rack, putting another ski in another rack, somewhat apart from the first one. Same with the poles. Are poles a really big problem? Poles seem to be uh, taken more as a mistaken identity than an actual theft. Uh, we could suggest that uh, everyone mark their own poles. How about security in the form of locks and guarded areas? Uh, do things like that work? Yeah, I have right here with me. A simple ski lock that's available for all three to four dollars in any of the local ski shops that you can, at any one of the racks, just simply wrap this around your skis and then close it back up and you've got it. And people just aren't taking the time to do this? Well, apparently not. No, they're, they seem to be a little cumbersome when, you know, and you can wrap them around your waist, and, uh, but they're not taking advantage of them, no. State police in Cortland investigate most of the ski thefts and they're finding that many of the victims are children. And they too feel that a little bit of awareness could stop many of the thefts. Parents, if uh, when they present their children with uh, ski equipment, that they should also provide them with some knowledge as to how to safeguard it at the various ski areas. If you lose your skis or your poles, is it possible for them to be recovered? On occasion, uh, uh, the recovery rate is uh, excellent when they're reported stolen immediately, both to the ski area and to the uh, local state police. Uh, they are identifiable, they have serial numbers, and these are things that should be jotted down, information that should be furnished to the uh, police agency. But if it's not reported right away? It's very, very difficult because, uh, as you can see from looking around here, uh, we enjoy very good skiing in the central New York area, and uh, we have people from all over the country as well as all parts of the state. And uh, once they leave for the day, it's very difficult to uh, trace these people to the various uh, corners of the country. Last year, state police from Cortland handled ski and pole theft cases with losses totaling $25,000. That was a record. They figure they'll break that record this winter, and they'll keep breaking it until people realize that wherever they go with expensive equipment, the chance of theft exists until the skiers themselves take steps to stop it. Laura Hand, TV3 Total News.